In this video, I'm taking a look at the Ahsoka Funko Pop from Star Wars The Mandalorian Season 2. Let's jump right into it. Hey everyone, my name is Christopher. Welcome to Seriously Star Wars. On this channel, I do weekly Star Wars reviews, so if you're new here, make sure you hit that subscribe button along with the notification bell so you don't miss any future videos. Alright, so today we're looking at the Ahsoka Star Wars Funko Pop from Star Wars The Mandalorian Season 2, and I picked her up, I think a couple weeks ago now. I have the rest in the collection other than the Mandalorian holding Grogu, so when that comes in, I'll be doing a review. So hopefully that comes in pretty soon. I've seen some people who, are, who have already gotten their Mandalorian holding Grogu. But like I mentioned, I have the rest of them. I have the Boba Fett, the Bo-Katan, Kreese, the Dark Trooper, and both Grogu's. The, uh, the one holding the, the cookies and the one holding the butterfly. So did reviews on all of those so far. Like I said, when, when the Mandalorian holding Grogu comes in, I'll do a review on that as well. But... Back to this Funko Pop here. So, Ahsoka is part of that second wave of the Mandalorian Season 2 Funko Pops. So, she comes in that that light gray, that gradient, and the uh, orange the orange accent color for the, the color scheme all around the packaging. You got the renderings of the, the Funko Pop itself on all four sides of the packaging as well as at the top there. And then of course you got your typical Funko Pop branding and Star Wars logos around there. You have her name Ahsoka for this one. They didn't call her Ahsoka Tano. I think they called her Ahsoka Tano on a couple different Funko Pops maybe. Maybe I could be, I, I'm probably mistaken though. But anyways, Funko Pop name is Ahsoka. And she is number 464 in the series of Star Wars Funko Pops. And she is the fourth in this this wave of Funko Pops for the Season 2 of Mandalorian. And like I mentioned, I, I believe this is the second wave of, of Mandalorian Season 2 Funko Pops. And she's, uh, yeah, she's a f actually fourth one in this wave here. So... Number 464, Ahsoka, let's get her out of the packaging and we'll take a closer look at her. Alright, so here is the Ahsoka Funko Pop from Star Wars The Mandalorian Season 2 out of the packaging. And first thing I notice, it's that stance. It looks fantastic love the action stance on this one she's got one leg forward one leg back like she's ready to defend herself from some enemies she's got one light one lightsaber up and off to the side while the other one's kind of off to the back a bit just like i said ready to to attack some enemies or defend herself from some enemies but she's she's wearing that really awesome outfit from star wars the mandalorian season two i think it was chapter 13 the jedi is what the episode was called. I can't remember if it was chapter 13. Might have been 13 or 14. Something like that. Um, but. Really great looking Funko Pop. Paint application looks really nice. They did a really nice job on her, her face markings. And all the markings on her. Her head tails there. There is a little bit of. Over paint that I noticed. Just on the back. Just a very minimal amount of overpaint there. But nothing that you're going to see from displaying it from the front. It might not be all of them. It might just be this one that I've picked up. But other than that, I don't see any other uh, paint imperfections. As for the sculpt, her outfit looks really, really nice. Lots of little details in it. So you got the black for the robes. And parts of her, her wrist, whatever she's wearing on her wrists there, they're black. And then the gauntlets over top have that kind of dark gray, almost gun metal look to them. And then the outer part of her Jedi robes there are kind of like a dark gray, 
not quite a gunmetal, but just a dark gray. Then you got some brown and some silver detailing for her boots. And also on her belt there, little details on her belt. You got stuff hanging from her belt there. The belt buckle is very nicely detailed. And also on the back you have some, some sort of tassels on her belt there as well. So really nicely detailed Funko Pop. Very nice sculpt. Paint application is really decent other than that one spot on the back of her head there. But other than that, can't really complain. The lightsabers are pretty straight. The one is a little bent, which I'm not too worried about. But if you do end up with a bent one, you can fix it by, by soaking it in some really, really hot water and bending it back into place. But I'm not going to worry about it with this one. The bobble's really good on this one here as well. So she is a bobblehead, of course, because all the Star Wars Funko Pops are bobbleheads and they come on that black non-removable Star Wars base. Yeah, really great looking Funko Pop overall. Nice detail, really nice sculpt. Pretty, pretty decent paint application, like I said, just that one spot. But other than that, fantastic looking Funko Pop. But let me know down in the comments. Let me know in the comments, what do you guys think of this Ahsoka Funko Pop? I know we've had a, a few get released within this last year or so with the Clone Wars Season 7 Funko Pops and then these ones from The Mandalorian. Really cool looking Funko Pop. I like it. What do you guys think about this one? Let me know down in the comments down below. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and then click over here to watch one of my other reviews. Thank you so much for watching and may the Force be with you.